guys, Miss Danielle here. Today we're going to be working on the dollar up strategy, which is something that's in a lot of students' IEP goals. So it's something that we usually work on almost daily in my classroom. The worksheet that you're going to need to be able to do this lesson is the next dollar up lesson worksheet. It's got the dollar bills and there are five problems on it. This should have been emailed to you at the beginning of the week. If you need another copy, just let me know. I'm going to try to attach it with the video as well if I can figure out how to do that. Another thing that is really helpful with this lesson is to make a little makeshift number line like I did here. You can choose as many numbers as you want. Some of the students really have the number line with them, but also the number really does connect in the sequence if that's something that they struggle with. So we're going to go through each problem one at a time. I'm going to go through my reasoning for each problem. If you would like to have your student solve it more independently, you could have me read it, press pause, have them solve it, and then work through with me after if they got it wrong or if you just want some reinforcement for what they just did. Um, so as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Once you have this worksheet and a pen or a pencil, then we will get started. So the first question on the worksheet says, Jake goes to the store to buy his lunch. His total is $5.37. If Jake has a $5 bill and three $1 bills, what should he give to the cashier? You see below, we've got the $5 bill and the three $1 bills. So if you would like to pause this now and have your students solve the problem on their own and then unpause when you're ready to work through the problem with me, but I'm going to continue working through the problem. So I know that the total is $5.37, so I'm going to need that $5 bill. However, I don't have $0.37, cents. I have $3 bills. So I'm going to use my number line. I'm going to find 5. The next dollar up from 5 is 6. So now I'm going to look to see if I have $6. And it looks like I do. I have a total of $8. So along with this $5 bill, I need one more $1 bill to make it six. So I should kind of hand the cashier a $5 bill and a $1 bill, which is equivalent to $6 and exactly $1 up from $5.37. All right, time to move to question two. Mason has $20 in his wallet. His total at the grocery store is $12.55. Does he have enough? Now I know that he has a $20 bill. There's no way for me to make that $20 bill $12 because it's more than $12. But as we talked about in class, if you have more than the total, then you have enough money to make the purchase. So if I were to show my verse, I would say 20, 12, and I could write it like this. You can write it in the form of a number line, or you could write 1 through 20 if you would like. And I'm going to put the greater than sign between it. 20 is greater than 12.55. The answer is yes. Mason does have enough money in his wallet to make the purchase, even if he doesn't have the exact 12.55 that's required. Okay, because we can get change. Question number three. Julia's total is 3.37. Circle the dollar bill that Julia should provide to the cashier. So you look inside your wallet and you see that you have a you have a ten dollar bill and you have a one dollar bill. The total is three thirty seven. So if you hand them this one dollar bill, that's not going to meet the total. You're still going to owe two dollars and thirty seven cents. So if you're really following the dollar up strategy, you need to provide the next dollar up from the total. One is below the total. 10 is above the total. We'll put the total in the middle. So here's the total right here. We want to do the next dollar up. And in this case, in my wallet, the next dollar up that I have from 337 is a $10 bill. So that is what I should hand to the cashier to make sure that I have enough money to make my purchase. Question four. Sue so wants to buy lemonade for $1.50. Circle the money she should give to the cashier. So this is the money that Sula has in her wallet. She has three $1 bills and she has one $10 bill. So usually, if we follow the reasoning from the problem before, you think you would be able to hand them the $10 bill because that's the next dollar bill up. But we're looking for the next dollar up. So now I'm going to go back to my number line right here. 
one. So one is right here. So 150 is going to fall right in between one and two. One, 150. Here's our one. 150. Here's two. So I think that I should try to hand the cashier $2. The way I can make $2 is by circling two individual dollar bills. So in order to meet the price for $1.50, I'm going to hand two separate dollar bills. If you don't want to use the number line, that's okay, but that's something that we do in the classroom that really helps support the student's understanding, and it works pretty well for me too. Um, we're going to go to our last question now. Liam went to the store to buy groceries. His total is $37.89. Circle the bills Liam should provide to the cashier. So in his wallet, Liam has a $10 bill, a $20 bill, another $20 bill, and a $1 bill. And the total is $37.89. So I'm going to look at my number line. I'm going to make a little timid one right, or a little temporary one right at the bottom. So we've got 1, we've got 5, we've got 10, we've got 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You can count by five, you can count by tens. Um, just this helps us place. And now 3789 falls right up here at the top. So I want to make sure that my money is more than 3789. The next number up that I have on my number line is 40. So now I'm going to look at the dollar bills that I have. This is going to require a little bit of adding. So if I take the $20 bill and add the 10 to it, I only get $30. That still isn't enough. That's less than 37. So now I'm going to try to add the $20 bill and the $20 bill. I know 20 plus 20 equals 40. Plus 20 equals 40. So a reminder the way that we would do that, can you see? 20 plus 20 equals 40. 0 plus 0 is 0. And 2 plus 2 equals 4. So I got $40. And if I look at my number line, I know that $40 is more than 37. So that's the correct answer. I'm going to hand the cashier my two $20 bills. So that's our number. Uh, next dollar up lesson that we're going to do for the day. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I have plenty more of these worksheets and I'm happy to make some more and send them to you. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.